What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're over on the skyblock reset So I know my last skyblock video we played and only a week later the server actually reset I just joined at a really bad time But today I'm here two days after the server release So we have like four weeks ahead of us before any reset happens Anyways, let's quickly pick the 1000 clouds giveaway winner of last video We'll plop their name up here on the screen and of course we're doing another 1000 clouds giveaway which is equivalent to 10 real life dollars okay now so the last video of skyblock i said i wanted to play with a team before the next season and that's actually true i've actually joined a group and we have a bunch of people online right now i'll get into this in a little bit though if you want to enter the giveaway of 1000 clouds make sure you do subscribe to the channel and comment your ign down below in the comments and uh, if you're on bedrock you can also win by the way and you might as well leave a like on the video all right so we have a monthly crate here to open let's open this up this will give us nine random rewards hopefully some good stuff and then after this i want to try try harding this season so i'm going to be claiming all of my kits Oh, dang. Okay, so we got some cell wands, five pet candy, a key robot. This robot holds the ability to automatically generate keys for you over time, which can be used to in the crates area. Okay, very interesting. So the super keys is what it's typed, and I believe that is the best one. Okay, yeah, we are definitely redeeming that. So I also got myself some pet candy. I obviously have the cell wand, and then I have this money booster. I also got the $150 million and then the 20 million coins, which will come in very, very handy now from all these kits i'm gonna claim the grinder the destiny the luminous the miner and then the void all right let me throw all this stuff into my player vault now i'm not sure what i'll really be using out of this obviously the armor will be good but i'm not going to be using the different swords because we have ourselves the omni tool and of course with this we have all the different custom enchantments for the sword the axe and the hoe anyways let's go head over to the island i want to show you all everything and my god my ears Ears. Okay, I turned my sound off because that is extremely loud. But as you can see, there is literally everyone here grinding. Now, right now, our island level is only level one. But we're actually over on, where is it? We're island number four. So I can hopefully contribute a lot to it. And maybe we can eventually be number one. Right now, the number one is worth 32 trillion. And we are only worth 4.5 trillion. Okay, but I have a lot of coins. And this will allow me to get a lot of enchantment levels. Now, something interesting interesting which i haven't discovered or really tried yet and that's farming and they have an entire nether warp farm so i'm wondering how good this is so for the hoe enchantments right now we can get haste which we should definitely max that out that is 2.7 million coins we can also get speed which i don't know if we need this because from the looks of it we should be using a mine cart to mine all these nether warp i can get crop fortune which i could max this out for 25 million coins so let's do that wait it says four out of ten levels i can get another oh i can so we got five out of ten levels there now there's also coin finder double harvest and then when we get up to key finder we can't get this until we're level 50 so i'll try buying as much as the double harvest as i can and that is 44 levels i am actually quite excited looking forward to the key finder enchantment so i want to do some of the farming here but i don't want to get into the way of my other co-op members yeah it turns out nobody's on this second layer here which is a good thing so we'll place down the mine cart we'll start going forward and uh then i just sit here in mine okay this is actually really efficient though before i do anything else i want to try making what sound is the mine carts okay yeah i turned my mine cart sound off because that is quite loud so we can literally sit here and i'll just keep my finger on the mouse now i gotta quickly ask what about nether wart falling off is there like some sort of chest I should be using? Buy a backpack, it isn't good for money? Okay. So I guess it really doesn't matter about the nether wart falling down or just disappearing. Now, what they're telling me to do is I need to get the highest amount of, where is it, coin finder possible. So we're just gonna keep upgrading this enchantment as much as possible because then we'll keep getting more coins and we'll be able to level up our different enchantments a lot faster. Holy crap, I just gained like 200,000 coins in two seconds. And we actually did just level up to farmer level two, which gave 
gave us 500,000 coins. So let's right click the tool and coin finder. We'll just max upgrade that again. Now, something I want to check is what is our level looking like? Okay, so we're at 900 out of 1000 EXP. My island member did tell me to teleport to him. I don't think he knew I was already farming. Yeah, I was just farming. We'll buy some more coin finder upgrade. All right, well, let's just get back to freaking grinding. Oh, and by the way, I did level up to level two. And to get the key finder enchantment, we literally need to be level 50. So that's going to take a decent amount of time. And I know this isn't the most appealing gameplay to watch. I'm just sitting in a minecart and farming. So we won't be doing this too long today, or at least doing it too long on camera. But what I'll do here is farm for about 30 minutes and then cut back. All right, so I think I'm done farming for now. Let me quickly just break this minecart. Okay, yeah, but I'm definitely done doing some farming for now. I'm now level four, which is pretty decent. We also increased the coin finder enchantment a ton of levels. It's at 932 now, but obviously there's 10,000 levels. So there's so much more to go. I definitely want to take a break from farming now. I just want to try spicing the video up a little bit. So let's see what we should honestly do. I have 150 million money. Should I buy anything with it? I could buy some some spawners or something i don't know then it turns out that they make a ton of money already so they said we don't need to buy any more spawners i think what i'll do then is i want to go and check out the mine area again i briefly looked into this in my last skyblock video but i want to take a better look at it so i'm trying to look for the best possible sword and i believe it's just the sharpness five so we'll of course use this for now oh wait i wonder if the bow's any good i'll just grab it and try it out so we're gonna be heading to this mine which is the ghost mine and this requires is no slayer level at all and once we get to slayer level seven i can then go to this new mine so i guess let's walk through the portal and i didn't really get too far i believe the last time i did this i wonder if i can like one shot these guys though no okay wait can i if i hit him and okay so he's like a three hit i guess i forgot that this was actually kind of hard yeah and the bow does like nothing okay so after i kill these guys i want to take a look and i want to see if there's a way i can upgrade my omni tool because I feel that this should be actually good. Oh, wait a minute. I think the axe is used for slaying. That makes a lot more sense now. Okay, so I can buy these enchantments here and now I have a permanent strength boost. That actually does make a lot more sense because I was very confused on why I just wasn't really... Oh my God, that made me $3.5 million and I only killed like three mobs. Okay, so let me actually check out to the slaying skill. Every time we increase it, it just gives us some coins, some crate keys. Okay, and then obviously at level level seven we get the zone number two unlocked so we obviously would probably also want speed so i'll just get speed five for the axe haste would be good as well but then there's the damage enchant which attacking monsters in the mine shaft will deal plus blank amount of damage so if we upgrade this one level okay that doesn't even increase it maybe it's like 10 levels oh okay so now it increases our damage plus 20 so i'm gonna max this out and then now i deal plus 82 damage which means we should be able to instant kill these monsters yeah, just like that, we can insta kill them. This is awesome. All right, so now we can easily go around and just slay through the levels. And once we get to Slayer level seven, I'll be able to quite. Oh my gosh, dude! I actually just got 500,000 coins from the Slayer level two, but then I gained 10,000 coins just from killing these mobs. Obviously, farming is a lot better for the coins, but I believe this is really, really good for money. Plus 750,000 coins. Okay, so what is the next thing to upgrade while well, attacking? mineshaft mobs you have a zero percent chance to deal critical damage attacking monsters in the mineshaft will deal one percent critical damage so i wonder if this crit is actually good i feel like i'd rather increase my base damage that kind of seems a lot better in my opinion i also forgot that i could fly around meaning speed is kind of useless as i can literally just fly around and one tap all of them slayer level four only three more levels to go and we can unlock the new mine wait i just found a ghost leggings okay it's just an armor set i don't think it gives any special buff so even though i am in a skyblock island itself i want to work on all of my own skills and i want to be able to get rich for myself so that way i actually can help out the island the whole goal is to get the number one island spot because if we're top of the leaderboards we can just show everyone that we dominate the server oh and also that new slayer level just gave me a pearl crakey so let's go into open it up it would actually be crazy if i could somehow get a pet though 300,000 coins, I can't complain. Oh, nice. I also just found a million bucks. I'm assuming the higher tier mobs, the more money you get though, because you start getting better and better drops. 
and level seven slayer. Oh wow, that was plus 1.5 million coins. Okay, so heading back to the warp mine, we now have access to this ant mine. Oh, by the way, let me show you the slash shop mine here and we just made ourselves 10 million money. Oh my God, they're 5,000 health. Okay, so now I see why critical is probably worth it. So let's take a look. 100 of these damage levels now makes my damage plus 282. We probably want to try getting some critical, but I don't know if it's worth it. Like what would 100 levels get me? Yeah, 100 levels will only get me a 1% activation chance. I'm trying to figure out on what this means. So attacking monsters in the mineshaft will deal 1% critical damage, but do I need this in order for the critical damage to work? I guess I'll try it out. So I'll just do like 10 levels. I don't know if the critical is working. So what I'll do is I'll just upgrade my base damage. Literally now we deal like 600 damage to the monsters and we can three to four tap them. I should probably buy haste, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to try buying as many haste levels as possible. Oh, we literally have no coins. Okay, so here's my idea. I'll go back to the island and I'll farm for like five or 10 minutes. That should get me like a few million coins. Okay, so we're like kind of rich now. We have five million coins. I just got an extra million from leveling up my farmer level. So let's head back to the warp mine. Let me actually slash sell the nether warts. Okay, so let me buy myself max haste, which is, oh, that's 2.7. Okay, let's just buy five levels to test it out. No, I was buying it for the sword. You have got to be kidding me. All right, but let's buy five levels. That was just kind of a waste of like 500 million coins. Can I actually hit these a lot faster? I think I can. Um, okay, so you know what? Let's just max that out fully. I honestly don't, okay, yeah, I think it makes a very slight difference. And then let's max out the rest of damage, which is 63 more levels. So we now deal plus 758 damage. That's not terrible. I feel like the best plan here would be to farm for enough coins and then get your ax strong enough so you can one tap these guys and then just grind slayer until you get to the next zone which then you won't be able to one tap them and then you go back to grinding the nether wart and stuff i also believe killing mobs is really good for money and coins as well but i might get into actual spawner grinding next episode the cool thing is there's literally nobody here in this mine so i can just farm all these and trail them this is actually very very good honestly if we can just kill all these we might be able to level up our slayer which will then give us more coins to buy more enchantments Hey, there we go. We just gained 1.75 million coins. Okay, let me fly up real quick. We will gain 58 levels if we max this out, but I'm gonna try getting like 50 levels of sharp eye and then I'll max out this critical enchantment. So that should hopefully help us deal more damage if we do get the critical enchantment to work. But noticeably, I won't really see much of a difference yet. What the heck? This one's on a chicken. That was actually really, really weird. Two more kills and we get to Slayer level nine and that was plus two million coins. So we're definitely just gonna upgrade our damage another 66 levels. It is definitely getting a lot harder though. But if you remember earlier, we had this super robot and literally we have 38 super keys. We can spend coins by the way to make this even faster, but we gotta get a lot of coins from these crates. I'll just open all of them real quick and that got me, okay, 2.82 million coins. That's not horrible. And I was just checking out the slash exp shopper here that's what you use exp for and i forgot that you do get a lot of exp from grinding nothing i can afford yet though all right and you know what we'll spend the rest of these on you know the good old damage enchantment once again we're over 1000 damage though so that means five hits so we can kill a mob oh and by the way to unlock the next to mine we need to be slayer level 14 so we could potentially get there i'll get back to grinding though all right, and Slayer level 10. I was actually hoping to get more coins, but we ended up just getting two Pearl Crate keys. So we'll open both of these up and we received, okay, 300,000 EXP total. Now I wanna sell all this and see how much we got. 19.5 million, okay, so not terrible. Oh wow, my armor has been broken up a crap ton. I gotta definitely make sure to repair it. But I think that's going to leave us off here and ending the video. I definitely want to unlock the next zone in the next video though, and then after that we have to find a better way to get coins whether it's from farming or grinding mobs with spawners because this stuff is getting way too expensive anyways thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed make sure you do subscribe if you haven't and of course come join with my ip zap.fadecloud.com and uh yeah i'll see everybody later
Stop killing me! <laughs>